so this is how my day goes. Wake up, go to work, work, come back from work, do some sort of exercise, dinner, shower, chill, sleep, repeat. I'm currently on my summer internship in Auckland, New Zealand, and honestly, I just haven't had much time to make videos. I thought it would be really fitting to talk to you guys about the realities of getting a summer internship. But before I get started, please make sure to click the subscribe button down below. I want to try and hit a thousand subscribers before the end of summer, so please help me get there. Um, it would really mean the world to me. I knew that I wanted to come home for the summer. And with being an international student, you can't actually work in America within the first year of you being there. Unless you want to take time off your own or CPT post-graduation um, I didn't think that I had the skills and I didn't think it was worth it to do that now there are a number of challenges that come with looking for internships in countries such as New Zealand as well as Australia particularly because the dates just don't align firstly the seasons are completely different right now in New Zealand it's currently winter time semester is still in session so it was really hard actually for me to even reach out to companies because they didn't have any internship programs available and they didn't have budget set aside for off-cycle internships. So yeah, that's the kind of preempt into my summer internship. What I'm currently doing though is I'm actually working at two different firms. One of them I'm only working at two days a week because they didn't have that much work but I really wanted to work at this place. It's called the Ice House. It's a venture capital firm working with startups and investors obviously. I knew that um, the time that I did spend there would be really really meaningful so I decided to take it. I'm actually involved primarily in one of the investor funds which is called Archangels. They invest in female founders or female led startups. I kind of have like an analyst slash marketing role so I'm involved in um, deal flow doing research for startups that are coming through um, and applying to the funds as well as organizing events and attend meetings between the startups and the actual fund members. The other place that I'm working at is called Callahan Innovation which is basically New Zealand's innovation agency. I have a pretty cool name, I am the programs intern, everyone knows me as that. Today actually we just attended a presentation that was given by one of the economic analysts in the company. They were saying how R&D and innovation only takes up like 1.4% of the overall GDP in New Zealand which I thought was really really tiny and given the huge um, potential that it has to contribute to the growth of our economy I think investing in this is so important the government's actually just released a budget where um, New Zealand's invested more than 100 million dollars into R&D and innovation and so Callahan has a huge impact in this supporting businesses and so I'm, I'm really blessed to have the opportunity to get involved, understand the innovation landscape in New Zealand and have a part in supporting businesses do so as well. I'm um, focused on optimizing all of the program and implementation as well as optimizing their team dynamic. Yeah, that is what I'm doing this summer. Now I just kind of wanted to walk you through how I actually ended up with these internships. I think it's a little rare for people to be involved in more than one company often because the companies just want to take you on for all five days. I knew I'm um, talking to some upperclassmen that I had to kind of rely on my personal connections. I was just thinking as a freshman I have never been exposed to any um, companies that are associated with my career um, directions. I did ask my family um, although that didn't turn out too well. I really had to um, try really hard to force these personal connections um, and being on the other side of the world not being able to meet or go into an organization it was really difficult having to communicate through email. Long story short, I cold emailed every single company um, and I'll show you guys. I compiled an Excel list of around 50 companies that I was interested in. I noted down the industries that I wanted to go in. Firstly, um, innovation, R&D, consulting, finance. Now, consulting and finance didn't turn out too well for me. I guess looking at myself from an outside perspective, um, it kind of makes sense because I'm only a first year student. I've taken literally two semesters of classes. I would understand why companies wouldn't want to take on some inexperienced student who just wants to learn. I managed to get a lot of rejections. Tip number one, follow up. Going into this, just expect that you're going to get rejected. You're not going to hear from a lot of companies. It's always worthwhile to send up a follow-up email. Tip number two, 
research companies that you're actually interested in. I can kind of talk about the things that I wrote in my email. So firstly, I included my resume, I included a cover letter, and the cover letter was pretty brief, basically just explaining why I was reaching out to them in the middle of the year, why I was interested in their organization, um, how my experiences may align with their values or their mission, um, and the things that I was looking forward to doing. And so I decided to go into LinkedIn to basically do a shit ton of stalking. And I guess you could call me a LinkedIn pro now because I have more than 500 connections. <laughs> I sent them a personal note and then through that I was able to um, talk to them, get some advice, potentially get their emails as well to send a more official message to. The Ice House I was a little scared to apply to mainly because um, it's like known as one of the biggest venture capital firms in New Zealand and I thought it was just like a really intense process but it was actually a little bit coincidental. I reached out to a different consulting company and the consulting company didn't have any spaces for me but the guy was really nice. He passed on the contact details for the person um, at the Ice House. That actually did make me seem more reputable. That really showed me how powerful personal connections can be. So yeah, another tip is if you have doubts about certain industries or certain companies not wanting you, there's never anything wrong with trying. The worst thing that they would say is no, but most of the time people are just willing to help you. They're really friendly. I really enjoy just being able to get a lot of career development experience in as a freshman. I have learned so much along the way, not just um, through an intellectual sphere, but also through an interpersonal lens where I'm able to better communicate my thoughts with my peers as well as see how businesses um, optimize all of their operations. Another tip is be kind, be humble. Other people will be kind to you if you are kind to them. Um, it's really a two-way relationship. People in senior positions want to help bring up this talent from the youth. And so you should be really fortunate that you're now in this position to get all of this insight from people who are a lot more experienced. So yeah, this was just a little rant, a little update about what I'm doing this summer, although it's basically winter here. It's been raining all day. I hope you're enjoying the weather wherever you are in the world. I'm actually really curious to know where my viewers are from. So to you watching right now, comment down below where you're from and what you're up to this break. Please comment down below any videos that you would like me to make. I look forward to hearing from you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!